Good morning. Our entrance hymn is Holy, 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 number 830. Please rise. Holy, 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 Lord God Almighty, early in the morning our song shall rise to Thee. Holy, 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 merciful and mighty, God in three persons, blessed. What is? There it is. It's just a signal. Good morning, brothers and sisters. Get it closer. There. Brethren, let us acknowledge our sins and so prepare ourselves to celebrate the sacred mysteries. I confess to Almighty God. And to you, my brothers and sisters, that I have greatly seen in my thoughts, my words, in what I have done, and what I have failed to do. Through my fault, through my fault, through my most grievous fault. Therefore, I ask Blessed Mary, ever virgin, all the angels and saints, and you, my brothers and sisters, that I have greatly seen. But, <clears throat> May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Lord, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Let us pray. O God, who through the grace of adoption chose us to be children of light, grant, we pray, that we may not be wrapped in the darkness of error, but always be seen to stand in the bright light of truth. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God, forever and ever. Amen. Our reading from the book of Genesis. The span of Sarah's life was 127 years. She died in Kiryat Arba, that is Hebron, in the land of Canaan, and Abraham performed the customary morning rites for her. Then he left the side of his dead one and addressed the Hittites, although I am a resident alien among you, Sell me from your holdings a piece of property for a burial ground that I may bury my dead wife. After the transaction, Abraham buried his wife, Sarah, in the cave of the field of Machpelah, facing Mamre, that is Hebron, in the land of Canaan. Abraham had now reached a ripe old age, and the Lord had blessed him in every way. Abraham said to the senior servant of his household, who had charge of all his possessions, put your hand under my thigh, and I will make you swear by the Lord, the God of heaven and the God of earth, that you will not procure a wife for my son from the daughters of the Canaanites, among whom I live, but that you will go to my own land and to my kindred to get a wife for my son Isaac. <clears throat> the servant asked him, what if the woman is unwilling to follow me to this land? Should I then take your son back to the land from which you migrated? Never take my son back there for any reason, Abraham told him. 
the Lord, the God of heaven, who took me from my father's house and the land of my kin, and who confirmed my, by oath the promise he then made to me, I will give this land to your descendants. He will send his messenger before you, and you will obtain a wife for my son there. If the woman is unwilling to follow you, you will be released from his oath, but never take my son back there. A long time later, Isaac went to live in the region of the Negev. One day toward evening, he went out in the field, and, his look, and as he looked around, he noticed that camels were approaching. Rebecca, too, was looking about, and when she saw him, she alighted from a camel and asked the servant, Who is the man out there walking through the fields towards us? That is my master, replied the servant. Then she covered herself with her veil. The servant recounted to Isaac all the things he had done. Then Isaac took Rebekah into his tent. He married her, and thus she became his wife. In his love for her, Isaac found solace after the death of his mother, Sarah. The word of the Lord. Thanks. Give thanks to the Lord, for he is good. Give thanks to the Lord, for he is good, for his mercy endures forever. Who can tell the mighty deeds of the Lord or proclaim all his praises? Blessed are they who observe what is right, who do always what is just. Remember us, O Lord, as you favor your people. Visit me with your saving help, that I may see the prosperity of your chosen ones. Rejoice in the joy of your people and glory with your inheritance. Alleluia, Alleluia, Alleluia. Come to me, all you who labor and are burdened, and I will give you rest, says the Lord. Alleluia. The Lord be with you. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Matthew. As Jesus passed by, he saw a man named Matthew sitting at the customs post. He said to him, follow me. And he got up and followed him. While he was at table in his house, many tax collectors and sinners came and sat with Jesus and his disciples. The Pharisees saw this and said to his disciples, Why does your teacher eat with tax collectors and sinners? He heard this and said, Those who are well do not need a physician, but the sick do. Go and learn the meaning of the words, I desire mercy, not sacrifice. I did not come to call the righteous, but sinners. The Gospel of the Lord. So there's a couple things I'd like to get out of this gospel today. And, and the first was, who did Jesus call? Who did Jesus call? Well, the most obvious is he called Matthew. Matthew is right here at the beginning of the gospel. Uh, Matthew is a tax collector. The tax collector was probably the absolute worst person that anybody could be in any country other than being in Rome itself. The tax collector worked for the enemy. The tax collector worked for the empire who was heavy-handed and brutal 
and they killed, and that's how they controlled the nations. And these tax collectors worked for them and put money in their pocket to boot. But Jesus didn't care. He didn't care that Matthew was a tax collector, the worst job that you could have. He called Matthew anyway. He called him to be one of his followers and to be an apostle. We see then later on that Jesus is is eating with tax collectors and sinners. He's calling sinners to him. He calls all of us to him because of his undying, amazing, wonderful love he has for every one of us. Every one of us, he loves us so much that he died for each and every one of us. And he calls all of us to him. No matter who we are, no matter what we carry with us, no matter how much we've done in the past, no matter what kind of job we have, no matter what kind of sins we carry, uh, he loves us and he calls us to him. And the second thing in it is, what does he mean by follow me? Now, he just didn't mean for Matthew to get up and walk with him a ways or go to the next town or, 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 or go see somebody. When Jesus tells us, follow me, he wants 100% of us, every bit of our being. He wants us to give ourselves totally and completely to him, to follow him wherever he takes us. Now, one of the things about uh, faith is, is uh, there's no book other than the Bible. And he doesn't tell us where we're going or how we're going to get there or what's going to happen along the way. All he says is, follow me. But when he does that, he means for us to follow him totally. Whether we're at work or at home or where we're here at church, wherever we are in our lives, in our thoughts, in our desires, we need to give them to him to be true followers that's where we need to be. I've come to call the righteous. Not the righteous, but sinners. And that's who we are. And that's who he's calling. Having listened to the word of God now, let us present to the Lord our petitions. <clears throat> With all, all those who have been baptized into the death and resurrection of Jesus Christ, may we remain fame and firm in our faith. Let us pray to the Lord. Amen. For leaders of nations that they will seek the truth that Jesus Christ is the Son of the living God, let us pray to the Lord. For those Christians who have given up their worldly lives for the sake of salvation, let us pray to the Lord. Amen. For our new priest here at St. Jude, Father Ricardo and Father Paul, that they may feel at home in the St. Jude community of believers, let us pray to the Lord. Amen. For prayers for, those, for young men and women discerning to go into the spiritual life, let us pray to the Lord. For those who are sick and are dying, for those who have died, for those whose names are written in the St. Jude Book of Intentions, let us pray to the Lord. And for our Mass intention today, for the repose of the soul of Amelda Lopez in this Mass is offered, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. Just as Jesus Christ has called uh, <clears throat> Matthew, let us ask him that he may also renew in us his calling, that we may always remember where he has called us from. And he wants to uh, follow him so that we can be also announcers of this good news. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. 
Heavenly Father, you have sent your Son, Jesus Christ, to us to rescue us from slavery to sin. And you give us of your grace to help us be also new messengers of your mercy and love in this, in this generation. We ask that you may listen to our petitions through Christ our Lord. Amen. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the bread we offer you, fruits of the earth and work of human hands. It will become for us the bread of life. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the wine we offer you, fruits of the vine and work of human hands. It will become our spiritual drink. Pray, brethren, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. O oh God, who graciously accomplished the effects of your mysteries, grant, we pray, that the deeds by which we serve you may be worthy of these sacred gifts. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. Amen. Lift up your hearts. Amen. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. Amen. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere, to give you thanks, Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God, through Christ our Lord. In him you have been pleased to renew all things, giving us all a share of his fullness. For though he was in the form of God, he emptied himself, and by the blood of his cross brought peace to all creation. Therefore, he has been exalted above all things, and to all who obey him has become the source of eternal salvation. And so with angels and archangels, with thrones and dominions, and with all the hosts and powers of heaven, we sing the hymn of your glory, as without end we acclaim. Holy, holy, holy Lord, God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray, by sending down your spirits upon them like the devils, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and, giving thanks, broke it, and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice, and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the 
chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith, we proclaim your death, O Lord, and profess your resurrection until you come again. And therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that, partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity, together with Francis, our Pope, and Edward, our bishop, Gregory, his auxiliary bishop, and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who had fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection, and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with Blessed Joseph, her spouse, with the Blessed Apostles, and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages. We may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. At the Savior's command, informed by divine teaching, we dare to say, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every, every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress, as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you, Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. And with your spirit. Let us offer each other the sign of peace. Peace, Father, with your spirit. Lamb of God, take away the sins of the world. Behold the Lamb of God, behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, and Lord, to the usual and to the Lord, but only say the word, and my soul shall be healed.
So for those of you who take the gluten-free body of Christ, I have it here, okay? That way, if you ask for the gluten-free, I'm gonna, the one I give you is gluten-free, okay? I know that the other priests normally come back and bring it from here, but I have placed it here already. So just ask for the gluten-free, and I will give it to you, okay?
Let us pray. <clears throat> May this divine sacrifice we have offered and received fill us with life, O Lord, we pray, so that bound to you in lasting charity, we may bear fruit that lasts forever through Christ our Lord. Amen. Well, brothers and sisters, the, I also am noticing also the sound of the baptismal font, so I like to hear to the running waters there in the back. <laughs> so I'm getting to know the place a little bit. So when uh, there's those moments of quiet, I like to hear the baptismal font. So it's really good that we have it there by the entrance and at the center as a, rem as, um, a reminder for us of, that we have been baptized also through the baptismal waters. So I like that font. <laughs> well, brothers and sisters, have a good weekend. Thank you. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. May Almighty God bless you, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Go in peace, glorifying our Lord by your life. Thanks be to God. Immaculate Mary, your